When I grew up, I thought everyone had the same amount of money. No one was rich and no one was poor. Everyone was middle class, just like my parents. Now that I'm old, I realized that I am wrong. In reality, a lot of people are either rich or poor. It's called income inequality, and it exists everywhere. The US, Kenya, Brazil, India, you name it. I was first exposed to it in Mumbai, when I checked into a fancy hotel, only to realize that my room view was that of a lot of slums. I was looking at poor people from my 15th floor suite that cost 200 bucks a night. In Brazil, I saw a similar situation, where rich people are literally neighbors with poor people that live in what is called a favela. Favela, it's a term that means nothing to you if you're outside of Brazil. But if you're inside of Brazil, this is a favela. It's a slum, a shady town, built on the slopes of mountains like this one, known for drugs and poverty. And inside those favelas, streets are so tight, you have to use motorbikes. Poverty is so rampant, there is no sewer system. Water is stored on top of houses. Inside of them, there is barely any space. Electricity is easier to steal than to pay for. And in some areas, it's so dangerous you cannot film. And when I filmed with my phone, I saw drug lords with guns. All of this is happening right next to the rich areas in Brazil. This is the best form of income inequality. It almost feels like a favela is a country within a country. Except your passport is not a piece of paper. It's your low income or your dark skin color. That's a favela. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. But income inequality is not just in Brazil. It's also in the United States, San Francisco. The place where Facebook, the iPhone, and Google were built. San Francisco is also the place I saw the most income inequality of my life. Today I went and I bought a unique ice cream here in San Francisco. They make it by minimizing the crystals between the ice cream molecules so that it becomes extra creamy. It's good. And one minute away from the shop where I got this ice cream, you have this. Sure, every city has income inequality, but in San Francisco... But it's especially obvious here in San Francisco. If you want to see the top 1% and the bottom 1% interact with each other, then this place is for you. But by that I mean walk right by each other without ever interacting. There is nothing wrong with building an app and getting rich. But it seems to me a little bit weird that when on your way to build that app, you ignore the biggest problem of them all. This. Get the fuck away from me! I will kill you! Why are you talking to me like that? I'm gonna fucking bash your head in, bitch! That's one minute. You see you tomorrow. You're gonna fucking die! It's obvious. The rich and the poor live in completely different worlds right next to each other. And in these two worlds, the same services cost different prices. Take a simple thing like a haircut. The poor has one price and the rich has another. And for that, I have to take you to the place I started making videos, Kenya. Day 12. I'm about to get a haircut. Half of it in the richest part of Nairobi, the other half in the poorest. One haircut, two Nairobis. Haircut at the spa, where Obama stays. Can someone give us half a haircut? <laughs> On to the slums. And that's one minute. See you tomorrow. And it's not just services that cost different prices, it's also clothes. The rich buy clothes and the poor buy clothes. For that, I have to take you to India. Today I'm buying a very expensive shirt and a really cheap shirt and I'm turning them into one. Do you have shirts? I'm trying to do something like this. Taiwan, Taiwan. How much is that for? Alright, 3800 rupees. How much is this one? 450? Let's do it. Uh, tailor time. This shirt I want to cut. No, no, wait. Don't cut now. Don't cut now. That's exactly what I want. That's the cheap one, gone. Very expensive this shirt, no? 
Yeah, so painful to watch. Oh my god, 3,700. There it is. And that's one minute. See you tomorrow. It's obvious from these videos that there is not just one single Earth. There are two. One where people don't worry about money and another where they do. But before you say, f**k rich people, let's take all their money and give it to the poor people, I think you should think again. In the interest of full honesty, I should say the following. I'm starting to make a lot of money. And I think I might be a millionaire in a few years. And it would pain me if people start hating me because I'm rich or successful. Everybody knows that I worked for it every single day to make these videos. And if you're watching this video, you are rich too. You have a cell phone, internet, Facebook, and a roof on top of your head. You are rich. I don't think we should punish the rich for their success or their hard work. The goal instead should be to focus on making the poor less poor. And maybe then we'll have a world where everyone is a millionaire.